this is my planner. It is an A5 Filofax in the Patent Nude Original style. And I really love this planner. Uh, I've had it for about six months and I've been using it every day since then. So I highly recommend it. Uh, this is what it looks like when you first open it up. Uh, I don't usually keep too much over here on the left hand side of the planner. Right now I just have two pieces of cardstock. The first one is just for writing some notes on or writing somebody a note if I'm out and about. And then the second one has some sticky notes and some masking stickers inside of it. And I like to keep those inside cardstock so that they don't get bent when I'm taking my planner around in my purse. And also this way I just always have them handy and they're really easy to grab when they're kind of slid in cardstock like that. So that's all I keep over on the left hand side. Um, in the rings, I have, let's see, eight sections right now. And the first thing that you'll see is just this dashboard. Uh, this dashboard is some floral cardstock that I got from Michaels. And then it's clipped with a Target, or Target Dollar Spot paper clip up here to a clear fly leaf. And I will try to let you know where I got things as I go throughout the planner. Almost all of the actual inserts I designed myself. And so if you like any of those inserts, they are available on my Etsy shop and that is called Plans Meet Paper. I'll put a link down in the description below. But the first thing you'll see here, I've got just a few things that make me happy. I've got a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day, and then some quotes down here in the hexagons. Up here, I have the This Planner Belongs To section with some personal information. You will see throughout this video that I have covered up personal information with these pink sticky notes. So those aren't usually there, but I just covered up a few things for the video. So that's my first page. Next, I have my 2016 goals, a year at a glance, and then my perpetual birthdays and events calendar. The first tab here is my monthly section. And I will say these tabs I got from Staples they were originally in a letter size regular divider, but I went ahead and just cut them down to half letter size about, and then I just punched six holes and made them fit into my file effects. So they're from the Martha Stewart collection at Staples, and I really like them. They're a plastic material, so they're really sturdy, and I thought the colors were really nice, kind of muted, bright colors. Um, that's ironic, muted bright, but um, we'll go ahead and get into it. So this first clip here is an Ollie clip and typically that clip holds the tab and the current month together. For the sake of the video, I just undid it, but that's what it usually does. Um, for my monthly spreads, I have the same setup all throughout the year. And that setup is I have a dashboard page on the front. The dashboard includes a section for goals and also a section for notes. So these hexagons, I typically write a personal goal, a health goal, a work goal, and then this is my word of the year, so I often write that in as well. Down in the notes, I kind of switch that up each month depending what I want to use it for. For the month of July, I wrote in-season foods on one side and memories on the other side. The next page is the monthly spread and that is a month on two pages. And typically I like to keep this pretty simple. If I do too much de decoration, I find that it overwhelms me a little bit. So all I did here is I just put some washi tape across the days that were not included in that month. And then I use these little Avery removable labels to put my events on. And you'll see that I use those throughout the whole planner in a couple different sizes. This size, this tiny size, is Avery code 5418. And you can get these pretty much at any store, Walmart, Target, Staples, and they come white, but I just go ahead and put them in my printer and print a color block on top of them so that I can kind of design my own color theme for the month. So that's how I use the Avery labels. The pen that I use in here is the Friction Pen 0.5. So that's what I use. I pretty much use black all the time. I do occasionally add some color in, but most of the time black. So that's kind of what my month looks like. On the back of the month, I always have a bill tracker and a monthly list. So 
that's kind of the setup that I have and I do have all the months for the rest of the year in here. So this is August. I'll just kind of flip through so you can see. Uh, this month I decided to go with kind of a peach color scheme. There's again the bill tracker and monthly checklist. And then I don't fill out all of the months in advance. I like to kind of plan those and decorate them as they come. So this is what it looks like blank. Dashboard, month of November, bill checklist, monthly checklist. And that's it for the monthly tab. The next tab is my weekly tab. And in here, I have a lot of different weekly layouts. I really like to have flexibility to change up my weekly layout depending what's going on that week. So this is one of my favorite layouts. It has a habit tracker and a cleaning schedule on the front side. And then a horizontal week on two pages on the inside. And each one of these days has three tracking boxes. So it's kind of similar to the Inkwell Press Flex layout. And I like to use these tracking boxes to track my workouts, my dinners, and then the middle box I switch up a lot, but this week it looks like I did tracking steps and tracking calories. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't, but that's kind of what this, this layout looks like. On the back side of my week, I almost always put just a blank, blank notes page, and I like to use that for using for daily gratitude, for quotes, for the Bible study verses I want to read that week, or just random notes that happen throughout. So that's kind of what my weekly layout looks like a lot of the time, not all the time. I'll flip through a few more so you can see. Um, I do sometimes switch it up though. So this week I kept the da daily habit tracker and cleaning schedule the same, but I wanted to do a vertical week instead of horizontal. So I went ahead and just printed this vertical layout instead. And I like this one as well. You can see again, I'm using those Avery labels and just black pen to write in my events. This vertical layout does have one tracking box per day. So I like to write the dinner that I'm gonna either make or buy on that day down in the tracking box. So that's what that week looks like. A couple more weeks in here. I do take pages out after I use them. So right now I think I just have July and August in here and I'll probably clear some of those out here pretty soon. That's what some of the layouts look like. I also have this layout which is a vertical week on four pages and it has a schedule and then a checklist for each day. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Schedule with a checklist. And I like to use this layout anytime that I feel like I've got a really busy week or if I'm really trying to figure out a better routine for myself. So this is this week actually. And I like to, I use this this week because I have a new puppy and I'm trying to figure out what his schedule is and how am I gonna fit that in with the work I need to do. And so really writing it all down when I'm doing what I figure will help me kind of nail down a schedule for my little guy. Um, and that's what this layout looks like. The thing that I really like about printing my own inserts is since they are printable and they are undated, uh, you can see I've got a few extra of these schedules in here. It, I can really switch it up week to week. So I printed off these schedule layouts several weeks ago, but then I didn't use them. And that's okay because it's I'm not wasting them. I just can keep them in here. They're undated, so I can just use them whenever I want to, whenever I feel like using another schedule layout. And that way I'm not wasting the paper. And if I don't wanna use this next week, I wanna use something like this, I can use that instead. So I really like the flexibility of having undated printables and also you know, just printing it week by week or month by month. My next tab is for my Etsy store. And I'm brand new to Etsy and brand new to YouTube. So um, first thing I've gotten here is just my first couple months of the fees and then the income that I made just to kind of keep track of that. I wrote down some hashtags that I wanna remember to use when I'm posting on Instagram. Uh, I am not super good at the social media thing right now. I'm working on it. Um, it's, it's something I would like to do and I enjoy doing. So I just wanna remember to learn about hashtags and how to use them. If you have more ideas on hashtags I should use for Instagram, please let me know in the comments below because I'm sure I could use all the help I can get there. <laughs> um, I've got Etsy shop name ideas here. 
And then I also have a bunch of to-do lists just for the different inserts that I make and sell on my store. So that's it for the Etsy tab right now. The next tab here is for my puppy. His name is Gus, and I've just got a lot of different lists for him mostly. Um, this was a list that I made before we got him about, you know, what things you want to make sure you check for at the breeder or at the foster home where you get your puppy. I've got a list of things I want to do to socialize him when he's still young. I've got notes from vet appointments and questions to ask the vet. And then I have a list of all the supplies I needed to get, you know, before we got him so that we were prepared. So that's pretty much what I have in his section. The next section here is my home section. And in here, again, I've got a lot of lists and notes mostly. So this was my spring and summer priorities list. And luckily, I'm just about done with that since summer's almost over here. I have some new house projects. Uh, my husband and I just moved into a new apartment actually, but there's some things I've been wanting to do in our new apartment. Um, I wanna redo my recipe binder, possibly make a household binder, I'm trying to decide on that. I've got books I'm reading, date night ideas, products lists, ideas for my husband's birthday, uh, planner wish list, and then I just have couple different printables here at the back. I've got gift ideas for a few pages. This is for Christmas and I'm sure I'll have to add a few more people's names there but I like to start thinking of my ideas for Christmas in advance so that I'm not cramming at the end. Uh, cards to send. Again this is really helpful around the holidays or when we got married I used this a lot. Um, anytime that you know you're getting several cards or several gifts from people and you want to make sure that you write every single person a thank you card, that's when I really like to use these cards to send printables so I don't forget anybody. And then last I've got my password keeper. Uh, of course I've got that covered up but I just have the account, the username, and then I actually put a password hint instead of the actual password. Um, just all right. That's it for the home section. The next section here is my budgeting section. And I have covered up quite a bit in here, but I'll just give you a quick overview. If you have more questions about the budgeting or if you'd like me to do a video about that, definitely let me know and I can go into more detail about this. But I just have an annual budget broken down into categories and color coded here. Uh, then also broke down into a monthly budget, again with those same color coded categories. And then behind that, I just have a uncolored black and white page here that I use each month to compare, you know, what was the planned expense and then what was the actual expense throughout the month. And I just have several of those printed off to use in the upcoming months. All right, next, last two sections. This section is my devotional section. And so this is kind of where I do my daily Bible study. First thing I've got here is just a few prayers that I like to see and, and pray often. And then I have my daily devotional boxes and I just have a couple weeks in here. I don't use these every single day, but typically if it's a passage that I feel like is a little bit harder to understand, um, I really like to take a few notes on it and that helps me to process it better. And then I also have in here some bullets of people I wanna pray for that day or that week. And so, of course, I've covered those names up, but it's just a good way for me to really think about my Bible study a little bit more deeply. That's all I've got in this Devo section is just more blank pages. That's what those look like when they're not written on. Okay. Um, lastly, I have a health section. First thing in my health section is an exercise tracker. And so I just mark it off if I worked out that day. And actually I did work out today, so you can go ahead and mark that one off after I finish this video. Um, I have a page for doctor appointment notes, and then the back side is for dentist appointment notes. And then I have a few healthy meal ideas for all the different meals. I'm still adding to this, but sometimes it's good to just have some healthy meals to refer to. And then lastly, uh, I'm not using this printable right now, but I do use it occasionally. Uh, it has a place to track your calories. Uh, this says clean, and so what I write there is kind of a rating for myself of you know how clean did I eat that day from zero to 10. 
just a rating for myself, the number of steps that I got that day, and then if I worked out that day, what I did. So sometimes I use that. I'm not using it currently, but I'm just keeping it in there for some time. And in the back here, I just have some extra pages, and I also have kind of an inventory of the washi tapes and sticky notes that I have. I like to keep this just mostly to remind myself that I don't need to buy any more washi tape or sticky notes because um, I've got quite a few and helps me remember which ones I do have as well. So that's what I've got there. A few extra to-do lists, extra grid paper, and a pocket. In this pocket, I just have some stamps and a coupon. And then a pocket here, the page protector. And in there, I usually keep my Avery labels in the back of the planner, so they're very accessible. And I do have a container store page, or excuse me, pen holder here. And one thing I did wanna say about this one from the container store, it does have great adhesive on the back, so it, it's very sticky and it's not gonna come off but the actual pen holder is very small. So for instance, just a regular pencil like this, it like barely fits in there and you know those are really thin. So if you have a thicker pen, I would not recommend getting this pen loop from the container store. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the last thing is just the jot pad that comes with the Filofax. Uh, and I just went ahead and adhesived some scrapbooking paper on top just to dress it up a little bit. So that's the last thing I have in my planner. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.